my son. The day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name. Arthas. We're too late. This entire city must be purged. Jaina? I'm sorry, Arthas. I can't watch you do this. Always remember... ...that power... ...is a double-edged blade. When my days have come to an end... shall be king. I remember. You still think of him too, don't you? Even after all these years. My father and I ruled the finest kingdom in all the world until it was decimated by Arthas Minifil and the Lich Kelvazard. Arthas. Arthas! Arthas! Farewell, Arthas. My brother. Arthas. Oh, Arthas. I loved him, you know. As did I. Take that love with you, Jaina. Let it lend you strength in dark times. Thank you, Uther. Can you stay a while and talk? There's so much I'd like to share. Arthas Menethil, son of King Tyrannus Menethil II, the ruler of Lordaeron. As a promising young paladin, Arthas was trained in combat by Muradin Bronzebeard and learned the ways of the light under Uther the Lightbringer. Soon after his induction into the Knights of the Silver Hand, a plague gripped the Northlands of Lordaeron. I joined Arthas to help investigate an insidious disease that caused the dead to rise again. After fighting the infected undead, we encountered the necromancer Kel'Thuzad and discovered his plans to infect outlying villages under the orders of the Dreadlord Malganus. We set out to stop the demon before he could reach his next target, the city of Stratholm. But we arrived too late. The citizens had already consumed poisoned grain that would doom them to rise into undeath. To stop the plague from spreading further, Arthas ordered his knights to purge the entire city. Uther and I were horrified and refused to obey his cruel command. Those who remained loyal to Arthas joined him and began the culling of Stratholm. Arthas sought vengeance upon Malganus, but the demon slipped away to the frozen land of Northrend. While leading his forces in pursuit of Malganus, Arthas came upon his former mentor, Muradin searching for a powerful blade called Frostmourne. When the sword was found, Muradin read its inscription and warned the prince that the weapon was cursed. But Arthas believed that the blade would give him the power to save his people. When the weapon broke free, a shard of ice struck Muradin down. Heeding the call of Frostmourne, Arthas claimed the sword and left Muradin for dead. With Frostmourne in hand, Arthas confronted Malganus, who told him the voice he was now hearing was that of the Lich King, Ner'zhul. Obeying his new master, Arthas slew the Dreadlord and abandoned his troops as he pushed deeper into the frozen north. When Arthas returned to Lordaeron, the kingdom rejoiced at the homecoming of its beloved prince. But that joy turned to ashes when Arthas entered the throne room and ran the accursed blade through his father's heart. Arthas.
scourged the land in the name of the Lich King, Ner'Zhul. To reach the throne of his master, Arthas had to face Illidan Stormrage. After a grueling battle, the victorious Arthas ascended to the frozen throne. He drove his blade through the ice, releasing the spirit of Ner'Zhul from its icy prison. The two beings merged into one and became the true Lich King. received reports that the Orcs are regrouping. Certainly the recent attacks against the internment camps are evidence enough. Agreed. The Horde is on the move. This is absurd. My nation will not stand by and watch as the Horde masses on our very doorstep. The Orcs are not our primary concern here. How many times must I repeat myself? King Terranus, you must heed my warning. This plague that has gripped the Northlands could have dire ramifications. Plague? You wizards are just being paranoid. Let's keep all this in perspective. Even if this plague does pose a threat to us, what are you proposing that we do? It is simple. As I have said, the Kirin and Torn are already prepared to place the villagers under strict quarantine. I will not institute quarantine without proof of your claims, Ambassador. The people of Lordaeron have suffered enough without becoming prisoners in their own lands. Yet, prisoners they are, good king. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Humanity is in peril. The tides of darkness have come again, and the whole world is poised upon the brink of war. Enough of this. Guards, remove this banner. Hear me. The only hope for your people is to travel west, to the forgotten lands of Kalendor. Travel west. Are you mad? Hold, Ambassador. I don't know who you are or what you believe, but this is not the time for rambling prophets. Our lands are beset by conflict, but it shall be we who decide how best to protect our people, not you. Now, be gone! I failed humanity once before, and I will not do so again. If you cannot take up this cup, then I shall find another who will. The warning has been given. Their fate is now their own. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. You too, lad. I'm pleased that King Terranus sent you to help me. Father still hopes your patience and experience might rub off on me. Well, it is a father's right to dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's where we stand. Our scouts have confirmed that there is an orc encampment hidden somewhere over the next ridge. 
As I suspected. It gets worse. They're preparing to attack the nearby village of Stronbrad. As far as we know, the village is completely defenseless. I need to move against the Orcs' base immediately. Can you handle Stronbrad's defense on your own? Of course, Uther. Don't worry about me. Good. Meet me at the Orc camp once you've saved the village. Be careful, Arthas. Bless you, Prince Arthas. But what about the others who were taken away? Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. Prince Arthas, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc encampment immediately. Never a dull moment. Let's get moving. Ah, good timing, lad. I sent two of my best knights into parley with the Orc leader. They should be returning shortly. Damn. These orcs will never surrender. Then let's get in there and destroy the beasts. Remember, Arthas, we are paladins. Vengeance cannot be a part of what we must do. If we allow our passions to turn to bloodlust, then we will become as vile as the orcs. Yes, Uther. Now, if you're feeling up to it, I want you to lead the attack. Me? Well, of course. I'll remain here and ensure that none of the loathsome beasts threaten the camp. I won't fail you. I know you won't, lad. You must be wiser than the king. The end is near! I told you before, I'm not interested in this nonsense. Then I've wasted my time here. You can show yourself now, Jaina. He's gone. I'm sorry for eavesdropping, Master, but... <laughs> it's your inquisitive nature that I've come to rely on, child. That crazed fool's convinced that the world is about to end. of the plague spreading throughout the Northlands. Do you truly believe that the plague is magical in nature? It's a strong possibility. That's why I need you to travel there and investigate the matter. I've arranged for a special envoy to assist you. Yes, Master. I'll do my best. I know you will, child. Farewell. Prince Arthas, we've been waiting here for hours. Are you sure this friend of yours is coming? I'm sure. Jaina usually runs a little late. We must help her! Stay your blade, Captain. She can take care of herself. Gentlemen, meet Miss Jaina Proudmore, special agent to the Kirin Tor and one of the most talented sorceresses in the land. Yeah, it looks like you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Jaina. You too, Arthas. It's been a while since a prince escorted me anywhere. Yes, it has. Well, I guess we should get underway. Our sources believe the plague originated in the region north of here. We should check out the villages along the King's Road. It's as if the land around that granary is... dying. Could the grain itself be plagued? Let's hope not. Those crates bear the regional seal of Anderhal, the distribution center for the northern boroughs. If this grain can spread the plague, there's no telling how many villages might be affected. We've been discovered, my brothers. Flee and continue with the operation. I'm sorry I can't stay in <laughs> Duty calls.
That creature looks like it was sewn together from different corpses. Let's study it after we kill it, okay? Hello again, children. I am Kel'Thuzad, and I've come to deliver a warning. Leave well enough alone. Your curiosity will be the death of you. Are you responsible for this plague, Necromancer? Is this cult your doing? Yes. I ordered the Cult of the Dam to distribute the plagued grain. But the sole credit is not mine. What do you mean? I serve the Dreadlord, Malganus. He commands the scourge that will cleanse this land and establish a paradise of eternal darkness. And what exactly is this scourge meant to cleanse? Why, the living, of course. His plan is already in motion. Seek him out at Stratholm if you need further proof. Naive fool. My death will make little difference in the long run. For now, the scourging of this land begins. Wait, what did those crates contain? Just a grain shipment from Anderhal. There's no need to worry, my lord. It's already been distributed amongst the villagers. Oh no. The plague was never meant to simply kill my people. It was meant to turn them into the undead. Defend yourselves! I'm surprised that you kept things together as long as you did, lad. If I hadn't arrived just then... Look, I did the best I could, Uther. If I'd had a legion of knights riding at my back, I would have... Now is not the time to be choking on pride. What we faced here was only the beginning. The undead ranks are bolstered every time one of our warriors falls in battle. Then we should strike at their leader. I'll go to Stratholm and kill Malganus myself if I have to. Easy, lad. Brave as you are, you can't hope to defeat a man who commands the dead all by yourself. Then feel free to tag along, Uther. I'm going. With or without you. Greetings, young prince. We must talk. I have no time for this. Listen to me, boy. This land is lost. The shadow has already fallen, and nothing you do will deter it. If you truly wish to save your people, Lead them across the sea, to the west. Flee? My place is here, and my only course is to defend my people. Then your choice is already made. Just remember, the harder you strive to slay your enemies, the faster you'll deliver your people right into their hands. I'm sorry for concealing myself, Arthas. I just wanted to... Don't say it. I sense tremendous power about him, Arthas. Maybe he's right. Maybe he does know what will happen. Nothing he can say will make me abandon my homeland, Jaina. I don't care if that madman has seen the future. Let's go. We're too late. These people have all been infected. They may look fine now, but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. This entire city must be purged. What? How can you even consider that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. You are not my king yet, boy. Nor would I obey that command even if you were. Then I must consider this an act of treason. Treason? Have you lost your mind, Arthas? Have I? Lord Uther, by my right of succession and the sovereignty of my crown, I hereby relieve you of your command and suspend your paladins from service. Arthas, you can't just- It's done. Those of you who have the will to save this land, follow me. The rest of you, Get out of my sight. 
You've just crossed a terrible threshold, Arthas. Jaina? I'm sorry, Arthas. I can't watch you do this. I've been waiting for you, young prince. I am Malganus. As you can see, your people are now mine. I will now turn this city household by household until the flame of life has been snuffed out forever. I won't allow it, Malganus. Better that these people die by my hand than serve as your slaves in death. We're going to finish this right now, Malganus. Just you and me. Brave words. Unfortunately for you, it won't end here. Your journey has just begun, young prince. Gather your forces and meet me in the Arctic land of Northrend. It is there that we shall settle the score between us. It is there that your true destiny will unfold. I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth if I have to. Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth! So much death. I can't believe Arthas could have done this. Jaina! Jaina Proudmore! Lord Uther? Ah, Jaina. I thought I might find you here. Where is he gone, girl? Where has Arthas taken the fleet? He came to me before he left. I pleaded with him not to go. I told him it sounded like a trap. Where? Northrend. He's gone to Northrend to hunt Morganus. Damn that boy. I've got to inform King Terranus. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself, girl. You had nothing to do with this slaughter. The dead in this land might lie still for the time being, but don't be fooled. Your young prince will find only death in the cold north. This is a light forsaken land, isn't it? You can barely even see the sun. This howling wind cuts to the bone and you're not even shaking. My lord, are you alright? You lied to your men and betrayed the mercenaries who fought for you. What's happening to you, Arthas? Is vengeance all that's important to you? Oh, spare me, Muradin. You weren't there to see what Malganus did to my homeland. Behold, Muradin, our salvation. Frostmorn. Hold lad. There's an inscription on the dais. It's a warning. It says... Whomsoever takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. Oh, I should have known. The blade is cursed. Let's get the hell out of here. I would gladly bear any curse to save my homeland. Oh, leave it be, Arthas. Forget this business and lead your men home. Damn the men! Nothing shall prevent me from having my revenge, old friend. Not even you. Now, I call out to the spirits of this place. I will give anything, or pay any price, if only you will help me save my people.
Prince Arthas, wh where is Muradin? We can't hold out for much longer. Muradin is dead. But take heart, Captain. The enemy will not stand long against the might of Frostmourne. So, you've taken up Frostmourne at the expense of your comrades' lives, just as the Dark Lord said you would. You're stronger than I thought. You waste your breath, Malganus. I heed only the voice of Frostmourne now. You hear the voice of the Dark Lord. He whispers to you through the blade you wield. What does he say, young human? What does the Dark Lord of the Dead tell you now? He tells me that the time for my vengeance has come. What? He can't possibly mean to... It is finished. Malganus! I don't know how you survived, but I will- Calm yourself, Prince Arthas. I am Tychondrius. Like Malganus, I am a Dreadlord. But I am not your enemy. In truth, I've come to congratulate you. Congratulate me? By killing your own father and delivering this land to the Scourge, you have passed your first test. The Lich King is pleased with your... enthusiasm. Yes. I've damned everyone and everything I've ever loved in his name. And I still feel no remorse. No shame. No pity. 
The rune blade that you carry was forged by the Lich King and empowered to steal souls. Yours was the first one it claimed. Then I'll make do without one. What is the Lich King's will? The Cult of the Damned must be rallied once again. Many of the Acolytes have been in hiding amongst the populace. Once you've rallied them, I will give you further instructions. This crude contraption will allow you to transport the remains of our master. Can you not simply raise the remains when we find them? Pardon, Lord, but a being of Kel'Thuzad's power can only be reanimated at a nexus of powerful lay energies, and there are no such places in this land. Very well then, let's move out. Come along now, Necromancer. The powers that you once served have need of you again. Told you, my death would mean little. What the? Am I hearing ghosts now? It is I, Kel'Thuzad. I was right about you, Prince Arthas. It took you long enough. These remains are badly decomposed. They will never survive the trip to Quel'Thalas. Quel'Thalas? Yes. Only the energies of the High Elves Sunwell can bring Kel'Thuzad back to life. Then what must be done? You must steal a very special urn from the Paladin's keeping. Place the Necromancer's remains within it, and he will be well protected for the journey. As you wish. Your father ruled this land for 70 years. And you've ground it to dust in a matter of days. Very dramatic, Uther. Give me the urn, and I'll make sure you die quickly. The urn holds your father's ashes, Arthas. What, were you hoping to piss on them one last time before you left his kingdom to rot? <laughs> I didn't know what it held. Nor does it matter. I'll take what I came for one way or another. I dearly hope there's a special place in Hell waiting for you, Arthas. We may never know, Uther. I intend to live forever. I dearly hope that there's a special place in Hell waiting for you, Arthas. We may never know, Uther. I intend to live forever. <laughs> Thalas can begin. Tell him nothing. Only you can hear me. The Dreadlords cannot be trusted. They are the Lich King's jailers. I will tell you all when I walk this world again. Proceeding as planned, Tychondrius? Lord Archimon demands a report on the Scourge. The Lich King's young Death Knight has been performing well. Almost too well. I begin to wonder if Nazul has ulterior motives for his new champion. 
The human means nothing in the long run. Nerzu wouldn't dare undermine our efforts now. Our only concern is that this scourge accomplishes what it was created to do. Our command will have all our heads if we do not keep control of this situation. Believe me, brother. Neither the Lich King nor his undead lackeys will jeopardize the Legion's return. See that they do not. Lord Archimon has little patience for failure. Sylvanus Windrunner was our kingdom's protector. Had she and her rangers not met Arthas with such fierce resistance, our people might no longer exist. She paid the ultimate price so that enough of us might escape to rebuild our fallen kingdom. When Arthas raised her as a banshee and turned her against Quel'Thalas, it broke all our hearts. I've had my share of disagreements with Sylvanus but I will never forget her sacrifice. She was the Ranger General of Silvermoon. Nothing will ever change that. Ah, the wondrous, eternal Gwelthalas. I haven't been here since I was a boy. Be wary. The elves likely wait in ambush. The frail elves do not concern me, Necromancer. Our forces are strengthened with every foe we slay. Don't be too overconfident, Death Knight. The elves must not be taken lightly. You are not welcome here. I am Sylvanus Windrunner, Ranger General of Silvermoon. I advise you to turn back now. It is you who should turn back, Sylvanus. Death itself has come to your land. Do your worst. The Elf Gate to the Inner Kingdom is protected by our most powerful enchantments. You shall not pass. Shindufan. Fall back to the Second Gate. Fall back! The Elf Gate has fallen. Onward, my warriors. Onward to victory! through this gate, Butcher, but you won't get through the second. The inner gate to Silvermoon can only be opened with a special key, and it shall never be yours. You waste your time, woman. You cannot outrun the inevitable. You think that I'm running from you? Apparently, you've never fought elves before. Damn that woman! We must find a way to cross the river. Finally. The gates have been opened. Once we've dealt with Sylvanas, the inner kingdom shall be ours. Damn you monsters! What will it take to drive you back? The ranger woman is starting to vex me greatly. You've done well. So far. But the true test still lies before you. I was wondering when you'd show up. I am here to ensure that you do your job little human, not to do it for you. I will reach the Sunwell on my own, Dreadlord. Be warned. It is a pool of mystical energy from which the Elves draw their immortal powers. They will not give it up easily. Do you think he suspects that you've been aiding me, Necromancer? I'm sure he suspects quite a bit. It is his nature to assume the worst. Now steal yourself. The hour of my rebirth 
draws near. Finish it. I deserve a clean death. After all you've put me through, woman, the last thing I'll give you is the peace of death. No, you wouldn't dare. That is far enough, Prince Arthas. Your march ends here. You may have been formidable once, but I sense your soul fading. Your life force flickering weakly. A flame I will gladly extinguish. At least I have a soul, you despicable monster. Not for long. Death itself has come to claim the high home of the Elves! Citizens of Silvermoon, I have given you ample opportunities to surrender, but you have stubbornly refused. Know that today, your entire race and your ancient heritage will end! Death itself has come to claim the high home of the Elves. Now arise, Kel'Thuzad, and serve the Lich King once again. As promised, the Lich King has granted me eternal life. I've upheld my end of the bargain, Lich. Are you ready to tell me about the Dreadlords now? Certainly, but not here. They have eyes and ears everywhere. We'll talk where it's safe. So, you're not upset about me killing you that one time? Don't be foolish. The Lich King told me how our encounter would end. The Lich King knew that I would kill you? Of course. He chose you to be his champion long before the Scourge even began. If he's so all-knowing, then how can the Dreadlords control him like they do? They are agents of the ones who created our master. The fiery lords of the Burning Legion. What is this Legion? It is a vast demonic army that has consumed countless worlds beyond our own. Now it comes to set this world to the flame. Our master was created to pave the way for its arrival. The Dreadlords were sent to make sure that he succeeded. So the plague in Lordaeron, the citadels in Northrend, the slaughtering of the elves, it was all just to prepare for some huge demonic invasion? Yes. In time, you will find that our entire history has been shaped by the coming conflict. Now come, we have much work to do. Isn't it time you told me about the second phase of the plan, Lich? Certainly. The first phase of the Lich King's plan was to engineer the Scourge, 
which would eradicate any group that might resist the Legion's arrival. Like the forces of Lordaeron, and the High Elves. Exactly. The second phase is to actually summon the Demon Lord, who will spark the invasion. So where are we going now? There is a nearby encampment of Blackrock Orcs who maintain a functional Demon Gate. I must use the gate to commune with the Demon Lord and receive his instructions. I call upon thee, Archimonde. Your humble servant seeks an audience. You called my name, puny lich, and I have come. You are Kel'Thuzad, are you not? Yes, Great One. I am the Summoner. Very well then. There is a special tome you must find. The only remaining spellbook of Medivh. The last guardian. Only his lost incantations are powerful enough to bring me into your world. Where should we search for it, Great One? Seek out the mortal city of Dalaran. It is there that the tome is kept. At twilight, three days from now, you will begin the summoning. <laughs> Wizards of the Kirin Tor, I am Arthas, first of the Lich King's Death Knights. I demand that you open your gates and surrender to the might of the Scourge. Greetings, Prince Arthas. How fares your noble father? Lord Antonidas, there's no need to be snide. We've prepared for your coming, Arthas. My brethren and I have erected auras that will destroy any undead that pass through them. Your petty magics will not stop me, Antonidas. Pull your troops back, or we will be forced to unleash our full powers against you. Make your choice, Death Knight. It pains me to even look at you, Arthas. I'll be happy to end your torment, old man. I told you that your magics could not stop me. Let's take it and leave before the wizards amass for their final attack. Indeed. I will begin summoning Lord Archimonde at sunset. The Circle of Power has been prepared for your instructions, Lich. Are you ready to begin the summoning? Nearly. I've been reading through Medivh's spellbook. His knowledge of demons alone is staggering. I suspect that he was far more powerful than anyone ever realized. Not powerful enough to escape death, that is for certain. Suffice to say, the work he began, we will finish today. Let the summoning commence. Come forth, Lord Pokemon. Enter this world and let us bask in your power. Despair. Doom has come to this world. You have done well, little lich. My plan worked perfectly. Lord Archimond, all the preparations have been made. Very well, Tychondrius. Since the Lich King is of no further use to me, you dreadlords will now command the Scourge. As you wish, Lord Archimonde. Soon, I will order the invasion to begin. But first, 
I will make an example of these paltry wizards by crushing their city into the ashes of history. This has got to be a joke. What happens to us now? Be patient, young Death Knight. The Lich King foresaw this as well. You may yet have a part to play in his grand design. Ajir Uthar Utharos. Ajir Modas Vetalu Dalentaro Ildas Glaku Retu Zethara Samanar Gutamus Belar Sumaras Azaratha Rakas Ilkula For thousands of years, the Sunwell meant everything to our people. Arthas dealt us a grievous wound when he defiled it. My faith was shattered when Silvermoon fell. I lost sight of who I was, but by the grace of the light, I found redemption before it was too late. Let this monument serve as a reminder of what it means to be Sindori. That our every deed may honor the sacrifices of those who came before us. No matter how much pain we endure, we will not lose hope. In the face of darkness, look always to the eternal sun. I am free after 10,000 years. Yet still my own brother thinks I am a villain. I'll show him my true power. I'll show him that the demons have no hold over me. Are you certain of that, Demon Hunter? Are you certain your will is your own? You reek of death, human. You'll regret approaching me. Come then. You'll find that we're evenly matched. <laughs> We could go on fighting like this forever. What is it you truly want? The Dreadlord who commands this undead army is called Tychondrius. He controls a powerful warlock artifact called the Skull of Gul'dan. It is responsible for corrupting these forests. And you wish for me to steal it? Why? Let's just say that I have no love for Tychondrius and the lord I serve would benefit from the Legion's downfall. Why should I believe anything you say, little human? My master sees all, Demon Hunter. He knows that you've sought power your whole life. Now it lies within your grasp. Seize it, and your enemies will be undone. will no longer corrupt the forests. But 
If I destroy the skull and claim its powers as my own, I will become stronger than any of Archimonde's lieutenants. Yes, the power should be mine. <laughs> now I am complete. Foul demon! What have you done with my brother? It is I. This is what I've become. No. Illidan, how could you? The leader of the undead has been destroyed, and the forests will heal in time. At the cost of your soul? You are no brother of mine. Be gone from this place, and never set foot in our lands again. So be it, brother. It's been months since we last heard from Lord Archimonde. I grow tired of watching over these rotting undead. What are we still doing here? We were charged with overseeing this land, Detherok. It is our duty to remain here and ensure that the Scourge is ready for action. True, though we should have received some kind of orders by now. The Legion was defeated months ago. How could they not know? Impossible to say. But the longer they remain in command, the more they run the Scourge into the ground. What? How could it possibly be? Greetings, Dreadlords. I should thank you for looking after my kingdom during my absence. However, I won't be requiring your services any longer. Prince Arthas, this land is ours. The Scourge belongs to the Legion. Not anymore, demon. Your masters have been defeated. The Legion is undone. Your deaths will complete the circle. Never! This isn't over, human. Return to us, Prince Arthas. I have returned, Lich, but you will now address me as King. This is, after all, my land. Now we must secure the kingdom by scouring the last remnants of humanity from it. But my king, the humans have begun to abandon their villages. They are fleeing to the canyon passes. If they escape into the mountains, it will be impossible to hunt them all down then we must slaughter them before they escape. Their deaths will be a fitting tribute to Ner'zhul. The pain is unbearable. What is happening to me? Danger draws near. Power is fading. Time is running out. King Arthas, do you need assistance? No. The pain is past, but my powers are diminished. Something is terribly wrong here. At last, the Alliance is finished. Once we round up the last stragglers, we should be... Ugh, not again. It is I, the Lich King. Danger draws near the Frozen Throne. You must return to Northrend immediately. Obey, obey! My king, you are not well. Take me back to the capital. I have a long journey ahead of me. Lady Sylvanas, we are pleased that you came. How could I not? For some reason, I no longer hear the Lich King's voice in my head. My will is my own once again. You Dreadlords seem to know why. We've discovered that the Lich King is losing his power. 
As it wanes, so too does his ability to command undead such as you. Then what of King Arthas? What about his powers? Though his Runeblade Frostborn carries powerful enchantments, Arthas' own powers will fade in time. It is inevitable. You seek to overthrow him, and you want my help to do it. The Legion may be defeated, but we are the Nafrazim. We'll not let some upstart human get the best of us. Arthas must fall. The Lich Kalthazad is far too loyal to betray his master. But you, on the other hand... Hate him. I have my own reasons for seeking vengeance. Arthas murdered my people and turned me into this monstrosity. I may take part in your bloody coup, but I will do so in my own way. I, for one, do not trust her. Her heart is still elven. She will never side with us. Don't be too hasty. She has great spirit, but her hatred for Arthas will ultimately serve our cause. Agreed. Well, if that's settled, let the festivities commence. So the seizures have been getting worse? Yes. With my powers drained, I can barely command my own warriors. The Lich King warned me that if I didn't reach Northrend soon, all could be lost. Fear not, my king. Everything is being prepared for your departure. The ships are waiting at the coast, and... There's been a change of plans, King Arthas. You're not going anywhere. Assassins! It's a trap! You should never have returned, human. Weakened as you are, we have assumed control over the majority of your warriors. It seems your reign was short-lived. There are too many of them, my king. Flee! Escape from the city! I'll find my own way out and meet you in the wilderness. All right, Lich. Good luck. We have no time for this. We must find our way out quickly. You have my thanks, ladies. But where is your mistress? Where is Sylvanas? She sent us to find you, Great King. We've come to escort you across the river. Once we cross it, we'll take refuge in the wilderness. This is the place, sisters. We'll rest here, Great King. Why here? We've got to find Kel'Thuzad before we- You have been deceived. Come to my side at once. Obey! What is happening here? Sylvanas. We walked right into this one, Arthas. It's time to even the scales. Traitor! What have you done to me? It's a special poisoned arrow I made just for you. The paralysis you're experiencing now is but a fraction of the agony you've caused me. Finish me, then. A quick death? Like the one you gave me? No. You're going to suffer as I did. Thanks to my arrow, you can't even run. Give my regards to hell, you son of a bitch. Back, you mindless ones! You shall not fall to the This isn't over, Arthas. I'll never stop hunting you. The effect of her arrow will wear off in time. All the preparations for your journey to Northrend have been made. You have been a loyal friend, Kalthazad. I don't know what the future holds, or if I'll even return. 
but I want you to watch over this land. See to it that my legacy endures. I shall, King Arthas. I shall. You seem troubled, mistress. Aren't you, sister? Only days ago we were the Lich King's slaves. We existed only to slaughter in his name. And now, we are free. I don't understand, mistress. I thought you'd be overjoyed. What joy is there in this curse? We are still undead, sister. Still monstrosities. What are we if not slaves to this torment? Greetings, Lady Sylvanas. My brothers and I appreciate the role you played in overthrowing Arthas. I've come to offer you a formal invitation to join our new order. Baron Mothras. My only interest was in seeing Arthas dead. I have no time for your petty politics or power-mongering. Careful, milady. It would be unwise to incur our wrath. We are the future of these plague lands. You can either join us and rule, or be cast aside. I lived as a slave long enough, Dreadlord. I won't relinquish my freedom by shackling myself to you fools. So be it. Our reply will come soon. Demon. Sylvanas, spare my life. I beg you. I can be of service. I swear it. Just like a demon, you'd sell your brethren out just to save your own skin. I'm listening. I know what my brother's plans are. I know where their forces are based. Just let me serve you, and I'll help you defeat them. All right, Baron Mothras. I'll let you prove your loyalty to me. But be warned, I'm keeping you on a short leash. Northrend, it feels like a lifetime since I was last here. Something out there is threatening the Lich King. We must reach Ice Crown quickly. My King, we'll need to establish a base here first. But this island is nearly devoid of resources. What the? They look like High Elves. What are they doing here? Prince Arthas, we are the Blood Elves. We have sworn to avenge the ghost of Quel'Thalas. This dead land will be cleansed. Northrend belongs to the Scourge, Elf. You made a terrible mistake by coming here. Slay them! Onward for the Scourge. Slay them in Ner'zhul's name. Who the... Thanks for the assistance, Mighty One. The Lich King sent me to aid you, Death Knight. I am Anubarak, ancient king of Ajol Narub. I welcome your aid, Anubarak, but we have little time for pleasantries. We must reach Ice Crown immediately. You've done well, Varamathras. You've led us straight to Deatherok's stronghold. But tell me, who are those humans? Deatherock used his telepathy to enslave a top-ranking human warlord. I believe his name was Garabon or Gilathos or something. Human names all sound the same to me. Instead of stamping it out, Deatherock has taken control of the last pocket of human resistance. They maintain their own army within the keep. Your brother is more clever than I thought. His defenses are considerable. Yes. And with this paltry force you've mustered, a direct assault on his walls would be suicide. I have no intention of assaulting the walls. Then let's go before he- My banshees will possess those hapless humans. We'll use them to open the gates for us. 
You realize we'll have only a short amount of time before he discovers what we're up to. Of course. If we strike quickly enough, Netherrock will never know what hit him. To arms! Who do you serve, human? The Dark Lady. I am hers to command. The patrol has returned. Open the gates. Ready yourselves. The moment is upon us. Now, my warriors, strike! The spell has been lifted. Is the nightmare finally over? Stand down, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What is it you want, elf witch? We have a common enemy. The last Dreadlord Balnazar currently controls the capital city of your kingdom. If you help me kill him, I'll see to it that you get your lands back. Why should we trust you? You're part of the scourge that drove us out in the first place. Not anymore. My only interest here is vengeance. <sighs> Very well. I'll rally what's left of my forces and meet you outside the gates. Come now. You have no intention of giving them their lands back. Of course not. The humans are simply a means to an end. You sound more like one of us with every passing day, my lady. Watch it, Dreadlord. The capital city is heavily defended. Balnazar is no fool, my lady. This battle can be won only through attrition. What's the matter, demon? Are you afraid? Watch your tongue, human dog. Your hollow bravado does not impress- Stand down, gentlemen. Save your anger for Balnazar. Garethos, I'll lead my forces in a frontal assault while you attack the city from the rear. An aggressive ploy, milady. So long as we get our capital back, I'll stick to whatever strategy you wish. Give the order. Let the attack commence. It's over, Balnazar. Varamathras. Yes, my lady. Kill him. But I... It is forbidden for one of the Nathrazim to kill another. My defection was one thing, but this... I require one last test of your loyalty, Dreadlord. Do it. You wouldn't dare. There, your business is done. Now I want you wretched animals out of my city before I... Kill him, too. Gladly. The capital city is ours, but we are no longer part of the Scourge. From here on out, we shall be known as the Forsaken. We will find our own path in this world, Dreadlord, and slaughter anyone who stands in our way. These elves are pathetic. It's no wonder we destroyed their homeland so easily. Pity I wasn't there to stop you. It's been a long time, Arthas. Prince Kaelthos, I haven't seen you since... You lead these elves? This group, at least. What you faced here was merely a scouting force. Defeating Lord Illidan's army will be far more difficult. Illidan? He's behind this invasion? He is. Our forces are vast, Arthas. Even now they march upon the Ice Crown Glacier. You'll never make it in time to save your precious Lich King. Consider this payment for Quel'Thalas and other insults. Make haste! My enemies draw near. Our time is almost spent. Are you well, Death Knight? My powers are weakening. 
but I'll be all right. He's right. We'll never reach the glacier in time. There is another route we might take, Death Knight. The ancient shattered kingdom of Azur Narub lies deep below us. Though it has fallen on dark times, it could provide us a direct shortcut to the glacier. We have little choice. Lead on, Anubarak. Death. You're certain we can yes. reach the glacier through these Close. tunnels? Nothing is certain, Death Knight. The ruins will be perilous, but it's worth the risk. All right, let's go. We've been walking for hours. We've got to quicken our pace. The Lich King is defenseless without us. I left many of my warriors at Ice Crown before I came to find you, Death Knight. They will hold the line for as long as they are able. Tell me, where are all of your people? Shouldn't there be Nerubians around here, undead or otherwise? I've been wondering about that myself. Something must have driven them all off. We did, you rotting bastards. We've been watching you all along. Muradin's dwarves. Impossible. Doesn't anyone stay dead anymore? We've been wandering this forsaken land ever since you killed Muradin and left us to rot, Arthas. Our leader, Balgun, led us into the ruined city to survive. But there's no way we're letting you in. We have no time for these games. Saphiron, attack! I remember you, evil prince. You're the one that killed poor Nuradin. Get over it already. I won't let you through this door, traitor. The recent quakes have awakened dark things under the ice. Ancient, horrid things. We vow to keep them locked where they are. We'll take our chances, dwarf. We're going through that door one way or another. The air smells awful in here. Something doesn't feel right. If the Dwarf's story was true, there's no telling what awaits us in the darkness. This stairwell leads into the heart of the old Nerubian Empire. We must be cautious. By all means. You first. You will die. It cannot be. A forgotten one. Look to your defenses, Death Knight! Fight as you've never fought before! We cannot take them all! Hurry, Death Knight! Up the stairwell! Hurry! You are weak. We're running out of time, Anubarak. How far are we from the exit? Not far. We have entered the Upper Kingdom. The exit should lead us to the base of the glacier itself. However, there are still hidden traps and pitfalls to account for. Take cover! Arthas! The entire passage collapsed. There's no time to dig through this. I'll have to move quickly and find my own way out. Hopefully Anubarak and the others survived. You made it. I see now why the Lich King chose you as his champion, Death Knight. Few men could have survived this labyrinth alone. Now quickly, head through that door. The exit to the surface lies just beyond. It'll be good to see the sun again. Remember, Illidan and the true battle still await us in the world above. Hopefully our trek through the Dark Earth bought us the precious time we needed. We've made it, Anubarak. 
Our forces are already assembled and waiting. Greetings, King Arthas. You've arrived just in time. Illidan's Naga and Blood Elf forces have taken up positions at the base of the glacier and... Arthas, my champion. You have come at last. Master? There is a fracture in my prison, the Frozen Throne. And my energies are seeping from it. That is why your powers have diminished. But how? The rune blade Frostborn was once locked inside the throne as well. I thrust it from the ice so that it would find its way to you and then lead you to me. Behold, Muradin, our salvation. Frostborn. I dearly hope that there's a special place in hell waiting for you, Arthas. We may never know, Uther. I intend to live forever. And I still feel no remorse. No shame. No. You wouldn't dare. In the end, death claims us all. It pains me to even look at you, Arthas. He whispers to you Jaina? through the blade you wield. I'm sorry, Arthas. I can't let you what do this. Say do you really think you can test it to you, Arthas? Is vengeance all that's important to you? And so it has. How now, you face a grave danger. My creator, the demon lord Kil'jaeden, sent his agents here to destroy me. They should reach the frozen throne before you. All will be lost. The scourge will be undone. Now hurry. I will grant you all the power I can spare. I saw another vision of the Lich King. He has restored my powers. I know now what I must do. It's time to end the game. Once and for all. Time's running out, Anubarak. We've got to get inside the throne chamber before Illidan does. The throne chamber lies within the frozen peak at the center of the valley. It can only be opened by activating the four enchanted obelisks that surround it. Illidan's forces have already entrenched themselves near two of them. We'll need to drive them back and reactivate the obelisks ourselves. Once the chamber is opened, we will destroy the Frozen Throne, as promised. Then the hour has come at last. After today, the Scourge will meet its end. Can you hear me out there, Arthas? Its end! Illidan has mocked the Scourge long enough. It's time we put the fear of death back in him. We've done it, Anubarak. The throne chamber is open. This is the hour of the Scourge. The frozen throne is mine, demon. Step aside. Leave this world and never return. If you do, I'll be waiting. I have sworn to destroy it, Arthas. It must be done. Never.
your men home. of Lordaeron whispered the name Arthas. Exercising your great power. Come to. 
to an end. You shall be king. A hero, that's what you once were. You stood boldly against the shadow and purchased another dawn for the world with your life. But the evil you fought is not so easily banished. The victory you claimed, not so easily held. For now, the specter of death looms above the world yet again, and it has found new champions to bring about its final reign. Knights of darkness, wielding runes of death and destruction, bound by the will of the Lich King. This is the hour of their ascension. This is the hour of your dark rebirth. chapel. Stand down, Death Knights. We have lost the light. This place. No hope. Have you learned nothing, boy? You have become all that your father fought against. Like that coward Arthas, you allowed yourself to be consumed by the darkness, the hate, feeding upon the misery of those you tortured and killed. Your master knows what lies beneath the chapel. It is why he dares not show his face. He sent you and your death knights to meet their doom, Darian. What you are feeling right now is the anguish of a thousand lost souls. Souls that you and your master brought here. The light will tear you apart, Darian. Save your breath, old man. It might be the last you ever draw. My son. Father! My dear, beautiful uh, boy. What? Father, is... you have returned. You've been gone a long time, Father. I thought... Nothing could have kept me away from here, Darian. Not from my home and family. Father, I wish to join you in the war against the undead. I want to fight. I can sit idle no longer. Darian Morgrain. You are barely of age to hold a sword, let alone battle the undead hordes of Lordaeron. I could not bear losing you. Even the thought... If I die, Father, I would rather it be on my feet, standing in defiance against the undead legions. If I die, let me die with you! My son, there will come a day when you will command the Ashbringer, and with it, meet out justice across this land. I have no doubt that when that day finally comes, you will bring pride to our people and that Lordaeron will be a better place because of you. But, my son, that day is not today. Do not forget. Touching is mine now. 
You... betrayed me! You betrayed us all, monster! Face the might of Mograine! Pathetic. You're a damned monster, Arthas! <laughs> you were right, Fordring. I did send them in to die. Their lives are meaningless. But yours... How simple it was to draw the great Tyrion Fordring out of hiding. You've left yourself exposed, Paladin. Nothing will save you. Apocalypse! That day is not today. Tyrion! We have all been witness to a terrible tragedy. The blood of good men has been shed upon this soil. Honorable knights slain defending their lives. Our lives. And while such things can never be forgotten, we must remain vigilant in our cause. The Lich King must answer for what he has done and must not be allowed to cause further destruction in our world. I make a promise to you now, brothers and sisters. The Lich King will be defeated. On this day, I call for a union. The Argent Dawn and the Order of the Silver Hand will come together as one. We will succeed where so many before us have failed. We will take the fight to Arthas and we will tear down the walls of Ice Crown. So too do the Knights of the Elven Blade. Although our kind has no place in your world, we will fight to bring an end to the Lich King. This I vow. The Argent Crusade comes for you, Arthas! You will pay 
for all the lives you've stolen, traitor! Boldly stated, but there is nothing you can... What? <laughs> Did you think we had forgotten? Did you think we had forgiven? Behold now, the terrible vengeance of the Forsaken! Sylvanas. Death to the Scourge! And death to the Living! This is the hour of the Forsaken. We're finished. No escape for any of us. Thank you for the invitation, Lord Fordring. We look forward to observing these games. Speak for yourself, Thrall. I hope you'll see the merit of these events in time, Garrosh. We cannot win against the Scourge if we continue to war against one another. Wise words. Words of a fool, you mean. The Horde will destroy the undead without your aid, human, or that of the pompous king. Garrosh, enough! Under my roof, gentlemen, I trust you will behave. Of course, Tyrion. I apologize for his outburst. It will not be repeated. <sighs> if you will follow me, then. Tyrion. King Varian, Lady Jaina, welcome to the tournament. Your place in the Colosseum is waiting. Thank you. It's the least I can do to support this. We need to stand together. You ask much of me, Tyrion. To sit and watch, trusting the savages to keep themselves in check. My people are here to ensure that they honor the rules of engagement. It will do your subjects well to see you in the stands. I'm sure Thrall will have his people under control. Perhaps. I doubt the effectiveness of this gambit. We'd be better served preparing our armies for the final assault. But if my presence is required in these games to gain your support in the battle, then I will remain. For now. I... I don't believe it. Frostmorn stands before us, unguarded, just as the gnome claimed. Come, heroes. Standing this close to the blade that ended my life, and the pain, it is renewed. I dare not touch it. Stand back! Stand back! As I attempt to commune with the blade. Perhaps our salvation lies within. Uther! Dear Uther, I... I'm so sorry. Jaina, you haven't much time. The Lich King sees what the sword sees. He will be here shortly. Arthas is here? No, Maybe girl. I... Arthas is not here. Arthas is merely a presence within the Lich King's mind. A dwindling presence. 
But Uther, if there's any hope of reaching Arthas, I... I must try. The Lich King is here? Then my destiny shall be fulfilled on this day. You cannot defeat the Lich King. Not here. You would be a fool to try. He will kill those that follow you and raise them as powerful soldiers of the Scourge. But for you, Sylvanas, his reward for you would be worse than the last. There must be a way. Tell me how, Uther. How do I destroy my prince? My... Snap out of it, girl. You must destroy the Lich King at the place where he merged with Ner'zhul. Atop the spire, at the frozen throne. It is the only way. Alas, the only way to defeat the Lich King is to destroy him at the place where he was created. The frozen throne. You're right, Uther. Forgive me. I... I don't know what got a hold of me. We will deliver this information to the King and the Knights that battle the Scourge within Icecrown Citadel. There is... something else that you should know about the Lich King. Control over the Scourge must never be lost. Even if you were to strike down the Lich King, another would have to take his place. For without the control of its master, the Scourge would run rampant across the world, destroying all living things. A grand sacrifice by a noble soul. Who could bear such a burden? I do not know, Jaina. I suspect that the piece of Arthas that might be left inside the Lich King is all that holds the Scourge from annihilating Azeroth. Then maybe there is still hope. No, Jaina! <laughs> Is coming, you. Silas, Paladin. So, you wish to commune with the dead? You shall have your wish. You will not escape me that easily, Arthas. I will have my vengeance. You won't deny me this, Arthas. I must know. I must find out. Sylvanas. This time, there will be no escape. You will all serve me in death. He's too powerful! Heroes, quickly, come to me! We must leave this place immediately! Blasted dead end. So this is how it ends. Prepare yourselves, heroes. For today, we make our final stand. We are safe, for now. His strength has increased tenfold since our last battle. It will take a mighty army to destroy the Lich King. An army greater than even the Horde can rouse. Your allies have arrived, Jaina. Just as you promised. <laughs> Forgive me, heroes. I should have listened to Uther. I... I had to see for myself. To look into his eyes one last time. I am sorry. We now know what must be done. I will deliver this news to King Varian and High Lord Fordring. You are not my king yet, boy. Forget this business. Lead your men home. Command, even if you Damn it, your I order you. You lied to your men and betrayed the mercenaries who fought for you. What's happening to you, Arthur? Some prince you find the death in the cold. Can you feel it, my 
sun closing in all around you. The light's justice has been awakened. The sins of the past have finally caught up to you. You will be called to account. Though my soul was one of the first to be devoured by your evil, there are thousands more bound within this blade, and they cry out for release. Look now to your defenses, my son, for the champions of justice gather at your gates. Remember, heroes, fear is your greatest enemy in these befouled halls. Steal your heart, and your soul will shine brighter than a thousand suns. The enemy will falter at the sight of you. They will fall as the light of righteousness envelops them. Our march upon Ice Crown Citadel begins now! You will now stand upon the hallowed ground of the Scourge. The light won't protect you here, Paladin. Nothing will protect you. Arthas! I swore that I would see you dead and the Scourge dismantled! I'm going to finish what I started at Light's Hope! You could have been my greatest champion, Fordring. A force of darkness that would wash over this world and deliver it into a new age of strife. But that honor is no longer yours. Soon, I will have a new champion. <laughs> the breaking of this one has been taxing. The atrocities I have committed upon his soul. He has resisted for so long. But he will bow down before his king soon. I will never serve you! In the end, you will all serve me. Could it be, Lord Fordring? If Bolvar lives, mayhap there is hope for peace between the Alliance and the Horde. We must reach the top of this cursed place and free the Paladin! By the light, it must be so. Prepare the Skybreaker for an aerial assault on the Citadel! Heroes, you must fight your way to a clear extraction point within Ice Crown. We'll try and rendezvous on the ramparts! Let's get a move on then! Move up! For every Horde soldier that you killed, for every Alliance dog that fell, the Lich King's armies even now, the Valkyr work to raise your fallen. As Scourge, things are about to get much worse. Come, taste the power that the Lich King has bestowed upon me. A lone orc? Against the might of the Alliance? Charge! That was Sourfang's boy, the Horde Commander at the Wrath Gate. Such a tragic end. What in the... There, in the distance! Don't force me hand, Orc. We can't let you pass. Behind you lies the body of my only son. Nothing will keep me from him. I... I can't do it. Get back on your ship and we'll spare your life. Stand down, Muradin. Let a grieving father pass. No, Kool K. 
kills Ilnok Atar. I will not forget this kindness. I thank you, Highness. I... I was not at the Rathgate. But the soldiers who survived told me much of what happened. Your son fought with honor. He died a hero's death. He deserves a hero's burial. Honor, young heroes. No matter how dire the battle, never forsake it. Jaina, why are you crying? It was nothing, Your Majesty. Just... I'm proud of my king. Muradin, secure the deck and prepare our soldiers for an assault on the Upper Citadel. I'll send out another regiment from Stormwind. Right away, Your Majesty! Grant you a swift death, Arthas. More than can be said for the thousands you've tortured and slain. You'll learn of that firsthand. When my work is complete, you will beg for mercy. And I will deny you. Your anguished cries will be testament to my unbridled power. So be it. Champions, attack! I'll keep you alive to witness the end, Fordring. I would not want the Light's greatest champion to miss seeing this wretched world remade in my image. No questions remain unanswered. No doubts linger. You are Azeroth's greatest champions. You overcame every challenge I laid before you. My mightiest servants have fallen before your relentless onslaught. Your unbridled fury. Is it truly righteousness that drives you? I wonder. fighting force this world has ever known right into my hands exactly as I intended you shall be rewarded for your unwitting sacrifice watch now as I raise them from the dead to become masters of the scourge they will shroud this world in chaos and destruction, Azeroth's form will come at their hands, and you will be the first to die. <laughs> 
<laughs> I delight in the irony. Light, grant me one final blessing. Give me the strength to shatter these bonds. will be consumed by your hatred! Free! At last! It is over, my son. This is the moment of reckoning. Rise up, champions of the light! Father, is it over? At long last. No king rules forever, my son. I see. Only darkness before me.
How I miss those endless days in Lordaeron. Sharpening your skill with this dull blade. Forging you into a weapon meant to withstand the demands of a great destiny. Heh. <laughs> you sure put them skills to use, didn't you, lad? If only I'd been able to stop you that day. How different things might have been. If only I'd have never discovered that accursed blade! Farewell, Arthas. My brother. So, it is done. I had not dared to trust my senses. Too many times has the Lich King made me to be a fool. Finally, he has been made to pay for the atrocities he imposed upon my people. May Azeroth never fail to remember the horrible price we paid for our weakness, for our pride. But what now, hero? What of those freed from his grasp, but still shackled to their mortal coils? Leave me. I have much to ponder. He... he kept it. All this time, he kept it. I knew! I sensed a part of him still alive, trapped, struggling. Oh, Arthas. Perhaps... perhaps he might someday remember what he once was. By the light, may he at last find rest, free from the icy grip of that terrible blade. Arthas. Alas, hero of Azeroth. You give me a greater gift than you know. Long have I struggled to forgive the Prince for his terrible transgressions. My soul has been racked with unbearable anxiety, dark thoughts, distancing me from the light. I recall clearly the gleam of pride in his eye as he stood before me eager to defeat the enemies of the light. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. You too, lad. I'm pleased that King Terran has sent you to help me. Father still hopes your patience and experience might rub off on me. Well, it is a father's right to dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Eager to defend his people, no matter the cost. It is this memory of Arthas that I choose to keep in my heart. I shall always be in your debt, friend. I see. Only darkness before me. Now, cast him into the maw. Return him to the darkness he served. His eternal suffering awaits. He was my student. Remember what he did, and take your vengeance. Not vengeance. Justice. A monument to our suffering. The veil between life and death. Where a usurper sits 
on a frozen throne. But no king rules forever.
it's over. Your father would be so proud. Is that his? You've gotten it all bloody. Only one of us wanted this war. You call for peace when it suits you, little lion. But you're quick enough to kill. I should have killed you when last we met. <sighs> How rude, sister. You're a guest in my home. Your home? You desecrate that throne with your filth! Enough! You put the torch to Teldrassil. Burn it! This was their home. And you slaughtered all of them! How could you take all those innocent lives? This was beyond life and death. There was no other path to true freedom. How can you not see that? I see what you are. Murderer! Monster! Butcher! But I failed those who burned. I will not make that mistake again. Surrender. Or die. You've won... nothing. He's not ready. Then a more direct approach is necessary. We have not come this far, only to falter now. You know what must be done. Submit! You are only making this harder on yourself. Not harder on me. Right now, you hold all the power. How will you use it? I've not come this far to falter now.
its part flawlessly. Three keys to aim. Then they will see. Death was never meant to be chained. Defenders of Maldraxxus, through deceit and treachery, Kalthuzad has turned our great houses against one another. He conspires with outside forces and defies the will of the Primus. Today, he will answer for his crimes. Incinerating our forces will be overrun. Necrolords, hold your ground. We will not fail, Maldraxxus. Hail, Baroness. Revendred stands with you. What an impressive gathering! So many courageous champions! I am truly honored! Why, Prince Kael'thas, is that you? I never did properly thank you for the use of your sun well! Enough! Kael'thuzad, you have defied the laws of the Primus and conspired to bring ruin upon Maldraxxus! Surrender! or be destroyed. Fools! It was all too easy to sow chaos and discord within your squabbling houses. The Jailer's plan unfolds exactly as intended. A pity you will not see it come to fruition. Kel'Thuzad is siphoning power from Margrave Sindane. Weaken him so I might use the staff to release her. Interlopers, you will not escape your fate! We are not the ones you need to fear, Kel'Thuzad. Your cause is lost, you serper. Now you answer for your crimes against Maldraxxus. And against me. Foolish Margrave, your victory is a hollow one. The medallion is ours. Let us return to Revendreth. What? We cannot simply leave. Not while Kilthazard yet lives. I will have vengeance for Silvermoon. His fate is not yours to decide. Come, Lich. The Banished One calls you to his side.
I will never serve. This what you felt when Arthas raised you, Sylvanas. Hollow, empty. Everything you once were consumed by darkness. Yes, young lion. But in the end, the sacrifices we've made will have been worth it. Once the cycle of life and death has been broken and remade, we will... By that time, I'll have been lost. And so will you. I only hope my friends will remember me as I was. Not what you made me to be. What fate befell Arthas in the end? At the moment of his death, Devos and I claimed his soul and cast it into the moor. Without the Arbiter's knowledge? So, he might yet have had a chance at redemption? I will never know. It was not my choice to make. Devos led me down a dark path. Now that I have seen the Maw for myself, I cannot say that any soul deserves such torment. Perhaps some can never be forgiven, but you have shown me that they must be treated with compassion. The Maw is bereft of hope. I've only experienced such emptiness once before, when I faced Arthas in Icecrown. The specter of my brother hangs over all of us like a shroud. His choices were his own, though it does seem his fate was shaped in part by the hand of the Jailer. My father's fate as well. The helm, that blade, were the instruments of the Jailer all along. The runes on Frostmourne were a type of magic not seen on Azeroth before the Lich King. But that same power is woven into the very fabric of the Maw. And Torghast. Arthas and Bolvar were not the only ones touched by that dark influence. The Blade claimed many lives. Many souls. Well met, Ranger General. What is this? Who are you? Someone who shared your fate, felled by the blade of the very same prince. Arthas. Oh, I died trying to stop that monster, only to wake up haunted by one with my face. That Banshee is you. No, I cannot accept that. Her path began where yours ended, and you've seen the decisions she made. Never in a thousand lifetimes would I betray everything I stood for. You can't possibly understand. The Jailer is deceptively cunning. When I realized I had become his pawn, 
It nearly destroyed me. He had no doubts. It would destroy you as well. Was he right? Or will you accept her shattered legacy and tell us how to stop him? Her crimes are unforgivable. Yes. And she is I must face the consequences. We cannot change the past, and we may never find forgiveness in the future. But inaction damns us all. Time is short, Ranger General. Make your choice. I've done all I can. of the Jailer. No crown, no throne, not even a soul left for judgment. I hated you, hunted you, and with each selfish act became you. That is my burden to bear. But your legacy is at an end. Be gone then, Arthas Menethil. May the last whisper of your name fade and be forgotten. Death claims 
the soul of your world. Now, bear witness, mortals, to eternity's end. This must not be. You have betrayed your duty as Arbiter and shall be bound forevermore. Your madness has threatened the cycle of life and death entirely. You could have sought another way, brother. Imagine what we could have accomplished together. Why, Zovar? What drove you to this end? Preserve that which is doomed. A cosmos divided will not survive. What is Just fate to which you doomed so many. And it will be there that your penance begins. Every soul lost in its depths, betrayed or condemned, you shall find and send forth to the Arbiter to be judged with the compassion all souls deserve. You will toil there, under Dorotha's watchful eye, scouring every darkened reach, until the final soul is free, and you are all that remains. This is how you shall bring renewal to your victims, and my people. However long it takes, it shall be done. Undo Falador, old friend. Watch her well. kingdom and your friends are awaiting your return my friends the ones I almost killed they believe my hands are clean but they don't feel clean it is perilous to confuse what you are made to do with what you choose to do how can I not when it all blurs together it was so horrific and exhilarating. And it sickens me to think that satisfaction may have been mine. Ah, so that's why you've come. You fear you might not be who you thought you were. I'm starting to wonder if I ever knew. For the first time in my life, I'm afraid that if I call on the light, it won't answer. If I have no trust in myself, how can I expect my kingdom to trust me? To put their faith in me when mine has faltered? Must you bear that weight? A king does not have a choice. No choice? I thought you believed in free will. 
<laughs> I need time to think about many things. And one. I have faced who I was and accepted what I've done. Now, the work begins. Yes, it does. Farewell, Sylvanas Windrunner. Until our paths cross again. Farewell, little lion. Within this hall, we shared ceremonies, celebrations, and tragedy. I loved my family, and on one fateful day, I lost them all. Now I am all that remains of the once proud Menethil line. The last heir to a legacy that ended in shame. So you ran away from the pain. I did too. But it was only when I stopped running that I understood. Those people out there, they're my family now. But will they ever truly accept me? Bearing a name, forever stained by a brother's sins. Just as these flagstones are stained by my father's blood. We are all the same here, Kalia. Seeking our place, despite everything we've lost. But it's a long road. And we will need your help. Then, let us find our place. Together. As Forsaken. Elthazard has been destroyed. No. I should have been the one to claim vengeance for the Sindori. And what would that have accomplished? Would it have changed the fate of your people? No, I merely... So this retribution would not have been for them at all. Only for you. I... I was not there when Silver Moon fell. Absent in its hour of greatest need. My failure has haunted me ever since. Then it is not vengeance you seek, but redemption. You committed many sins in life, Kael'thas Sunstrider. Your kingdom's ruin was not one of them. Repent for all else, but forgive yourself for that. Perhaps you are right, Accuser. It seems I have work to do. By the light! Jaina Proudmoore! Is that you? Uther? Uther! A Kyrian! <laughs> of course, it, it suits you. I barely recognized you, my lady. The last time we spoke was at... Stratholm. After the calling. I remember. You still think of him too, don't you? Even after all these years... I've tried to put the past behind me. Now, with what's been done to Anduin... All those painful memories have flooded back again. Memories... are like mirrors. They show us parts of ourselves. Sometimes... parts we'd like to forget. 
but you can choose what lessons to carry forward and what to leave behind. I loved him, you know. As did I. Take that love with you, Jaina. Let it lend you strength in dark times. Thank you, Uther. Can you stay a while and talk? There's so much I'd like to share. Without the Helm of Domination to control them, the Scourge roams leaderless. Nothing remains to temper their aggression. Indeed. The mightiest among them already vie for supremacy. Like vicious warlords in the wake of their king's death. We cannot allow any of them to seize command and unite their forces. The Ebon Blade must remain vigilant. And so we shall. Though Azeroth may never truly be rid of the Scourge, we will keep them in check. You have my word. Ice Crown Citadel remains a seat of dark power. We must not let it fall into enemy hands. Perhaps I should return to... No, Bolvar. Let the Frozen Throne sit vacant. The Knights of the Ebon Blade will safeguard the Citadel in your stead. Talia needs her father. Darien. Thank you. Strange, is it not? We both lived lives of service, and even after facing death itself, we still feel compelled to serve others. Sometimes, the greatest act of service is to be present for those who need us. Until we meet again, High Lord. So, Tyrion Fordring took up the Ashbringer in my absence. I can think of few more worthy. Indeed. He met the Lich King in battle, and shattered Frostmourne itself. And yet you sought to raise him into undeath. Why deny him the rest he had earned? I once told Tyrion that only a silver hand can wield an ebon blade. We needed a fourth horseman, one to lead the others. He seemed the right choice. It appears fate chose differently. This is not the legacy I meant to leave you, Darien. My son, there will come a day when you will command the Ashbringer, and with it, meet out justice across this land. I have no doubt that when that day finally comes, you will bring pride to our people, and that Lordaeron will be a better place because of you. But, my son, that day is not today. Do not forget. You taught me to defend that which I hold dear. I am proud to carry on such a legacy. And I am proud of you, my son. You have been a loyal friend, Kalpazad. I don't know what the future holds, or if I'll even return. But I want you to watch over this land. See to it that my legacy endures. I shall, King Arthas. I shall.